Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're all doing good. Uh, I welcome you also to um, this short 30 minute of demonstration with uh, Genome America. My name is uh, Céline Ross and I am an educator for Genome Canada. So I see people are coming in. Good. So that means I'm at the right place. Okay. So we still in May, almost over May, and um, the team, the monthly team was fresh flower. Well, fresh, uh, not fresh anymore when we're sewing. Eh? It's a fr fresh thread, fresh embroidery. So uh, I wanted to talk to you about um, the cutting needles and the cut work, cut work uh, functionality should I say? And I think you will learn a few things, especially one on your machine, the one who has that, that functionality, of course. And I, I want to take you right away to the um, Genomic Global site. So, uh, okay, Shirley is there. Oh, good. So, hello, Shirley. So, when somebody that I recognize the name, not the face because we don't see each other, when I see, so that means I'm at the right place. Okay, and Patricia is there, phew, okay. And uh, Janice and, well, the whole family is there. Okay, nice to see you. It's a big word, see, but I recognize all the name, okay? Hello, Marty. So I will turn the camera because I want to show you the computer. I put the, the Genome laptop just beside the CM17. Whatever I show you, it's, uh, you can do an other machine, huh? and it's embroidery, cut work. Yeah, that's the word, cut work. In English, that's the right word, okay? So I'm turning the computer. I want you to see the computer. And, well, you know, you have cut work function, but you need cut work designs, okay? So I like to go directly onto the Genome global site, okay? And I am on the global site here. And where do I find everything? Well, product information. It's, you know, I think we fast go genome.com, but the, um, the real, um, uh, the global site is really, uh, Genome Japan, and you can see here, uh, global side product. So, first thing I want you to check sometime, okay? I, I, I'm not ordering you to do it, uh, but you know, we, we, we forget about this. Genome Bulletin. I'm clicking on it. And software, application, no, I'm not there. Um, no, I'm not at the right place. Ah! For sewing machine or embroidery machine, there's a bulletin, cut work embroidery design. I'm going to click on it. And you can download. This is just an information. So the cut work design works on CM17, Skyline S9, 15, 14,000, and I can tell you 12,000 also that I can tell you. Um, and also on the um, Elna machine, about the same. Uh, us, I'm very curious about this topic. Okay, I hope I won't disappoint you. So there's a Genome bulletin that tells you first if you can do it. Okay, and you see now they we had that before. I, I don't remember with which machine, but uh, I think it was the 12,000, but I'm not sure. But now they add more design, 21 new design. And this little, um, this little uh, uh, bulletin tells you, it's not a, a course, huh? it just tells you um, w which, with which machine to use it and not how to use it, but what it does. Of course, to do this, it's cut work. You can cut with your scissors, okay? But these designs are digitized to use cutting needles. If you have 
if you have to repeat or if your scissors are not uh, dull, if you're afraid, if your scissors are dull, if, if um, you're afraid to cut the thread, if whatever, you know, this is um, an other, another option. Okay, and you see, you have the part number here on the blister pack. You have the part number. And I'm going down. And also, they suggest you this holder here. But I'm doing with my hands, if you're afraid. See, this is not new, huh? July 22. So it's not new. So it's a good thing to keep, maybe print or to save on your computer is that bulletin. Okay. Now, what is this here? Okay. Now, oh, I got out of that. Okay. Now I'm going, I'm working with the um, CM17 now. I'm going on to my machine. Okay. Continental M17. No, I didn't receive. Oh, what is this? I didn't receive this message. Hi there. Get the message. The live video has ended. No. Phew. No, I'm still on. I can see. I hope everybody's still there. Huh? Can I do this with 11,000? Yes, you can. 11,000. I just didn't think of, of doing it, uh, of telling you. Yes, you can. So I get just one, one girl. Please. Oh, yeah. You seem fine. Okay, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, so Continental M17, this is what I use. So I'm going to click on my arrow, and here it tells me my my machine, I can do an update. So far, we had only one update. I can download some, uh, some instruction book. I can download also the Quick Start Guide. I, and it tells me which application software goes on computer, application you install them on um oh well the word is a tablet i mean uh, oh oh uh, i uh, i would say iphone ipad but android or ios okay intelligent uh, intelligent something you know tools okay and then embroidery sample that was on the machine oh cut work embroidery design and another cut work and embroidery design. So what's the difference between the two? So this one is in GP, JPX and this one is draw format. Uh, well, I'm using the artistic digitizer. So I download these here. Okay. Yeah. Yes, everyone of our embroidery machine, Katie cut work. Okay. Well, not everyone. Not 500 e. So sorry to let you know. Because, and I'm sure because we just checked the bulletin and the bulletin didn't mention it. The, the, the whole of the needle plate is very small. Um, if I, I'm going back, I don't want, I just want to make sure that I don't lie to you. But I didn't try it. I did not try it. But now... I want to try it. I'm so curious. I will try it. Okay, no. Cut work. I just want to come back here. So you see. Ah, CM17, Skyline 9, 15 and 14,000. No mention about uh, 500E and 550. But I'll try it as soon as I finish this live. I'm too uh, too curious, and I'll let you know. Okay, so I was here. I, I no, where was I? Okay, product information, and I was telling you that I can download two different um, uh, format. So you well, one more. Okay. I can download my draw file or my GPX JP, JPX file. Okay. Okay. So um, I download the, the, the one I'm using with the artistic uh, digitizer. So I download the GPX. But if you don't have it, if you have, let's say, uh, our other 
software we had previously, which is uh, Digitizer MBX, well, you download your file here. Or let's say you have no software. You have the, so the software Embroidery Link or um, Horizon Link or uh, uh, Tool or something, IQ Tools. Well, you're okay. You download the JPX file because the machine can read it, can read that format, that format. Okay. So, okay. I download it, but I'll show you what I did. You see, of course, yes, it, it is in French because we speak French. So I, I print the book. It's not, it's not much, you know, it's not a lot. And I, whoop, I print the design, okay, the design that we're allowed, and Gregor, I can work, work with all our embroidery. They are just like a needle with a flat back, even. Well, then I don't know, I believe everything, yeah? So then I don't know why Janome didn't put it uh, on the, um, on the, um, uh, how it's called, the, 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 the uh, bulletin. Because the bulletin, I'll pull it out, just to make sure that I'm not mistaking you. Oops. No mention about 550 and 5. Or it's a mistake, or it's, we have to find out about it, okay? So, so far, uh, I wouldn't try it right away. Wait until we make sure it's working. Okay. So then I printed my book and I see all my designs. And I have my, um, you know, uh, how how to do it. It's very well explained. It's in color and it's really convenient to have. Okay. So... I will, um, I did it in French, but you do it in English and Spanish. There's many uh, uh, language there. Okay. Then I'm going to my, com my, this is the design I wanted to do. Okay. I send it to my machine Wi-Fi and it takes time to embroider. So I start a little bit before Okay, so these designs, I, I cannot remove from the hoop, the hoop, sorry. So this design you can embroider without cutting. So here's my first sample. Then my finished sample, I, I put my, my hand behind. I want you to see that the holes are there, okay? And it's clean at the back, okay? And then... The sample I just did, you know, I like to show you step by step for you to understand what I did. So what do we have to do first? We have to put some tear away before, uh, underneath. You know, the fabric has to be stiff. And today I'm not using the best, uh, you know, I did it before in a previous um, in a previous uh, video and you see you remember i cut many thicknesses of cotton the cut is clean 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 but now if it's always nice when i do a sample maybe you'll use something else so this is a, a poly damas you know polyester and uh, this is not um, the, the, the cutting would not be clean as much as on cotton. So this is why I'm using it to make sure that you understand. Okay. So what we have to do the, the first, stiffen the fabric. This is like a tear away that I iron on. Okay. I did this to all the parts. Okay. Then I launch my embroidery. So I'll move, I'll move to the screen. So the first color I did already be because I didn't want you to wait for that color. And then the machine tells me, so it's done. And then it shows me the four needle and I put my machine in English. So it says change the cutting to cut to work needle. Okay. So, and it asked me 
me the black one. So you need a few little tools and the tools that you need comes with the machine. I'll remove my regular needle. Okay. And it tells me to put the black needle. So probably you saw, oops, hold on. Okay. Probably you saw this needle or this kit before. It's always four needles. It comes in a blister pack. And I, I write, I wrote down with the title, the part number. So at least you won't have to. Uh, and I wrote the part number for the flat back needle, not the, um, not the, the, the round one. The round one is for the round top. Uh, yeah, the top, round top is for MB, um, MB4 and MB7. Okay. And you see, now my machine tells me, it, it locked my machine. It's locked. Even if I want to touch anything, I cannot. So I have to unlock my machine. And you know that my machine can go, my machine, this machine, well, which is mine, huh? So it can go up to two, um, okay, I think these designs are only of those machines. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. You know, this week I will develop all this. So I have my cutting needle, okay? And I'll say start. And the cutting needles have four different, four different angle, uh, angle, yeah, angles, okay? They're color coded for sure. And the machine knows when. I have to change my needle for the right angle. My machine goes to 1200 stitch a minute and I'm at the fastest speed now. But if you look at the screen, the screen says 1000 stitch a minute. So the machine knows it's a GPX huh? and it's cutting needles and it slowed down my machine. It's a full computerized machine. Huh? So it's um the machine knows what to do if you ever bought many years ago an older software that genome was selling the name of the software was artistic sewing suite you see i'm ready to change color okay i have to insert the blue needle so i will remove the black one Okay, and put the blue one. You be careful with your, there's a holder. It exists a holder if you don't want to cut your finger, but you, you know, I be careful. And I always use my screwdriver because the vibration of the machine can loosen the screw here and the needle will go in and damage uh, or the, the needle plate or the bobbin case or the machine and you don't want this. Huh? So I was saying, Thing. If you ever had the um, art, uh, the so, uh, sewing suite, uh, artistic sewing suite software, it, it was coming with the venery needles. If you have them, keep them, no problem. One or the other, you know, you, it's cut work needle. So you don't have to go and buy this, this cutting needle. These are perfect. All the other sample, this is what I use. You know that the three other, uh, the two other sample on my little sample, uh, on my sample, on my fabric, uh, I use the venery one. So uh, don't worry, they're there forever. And do you need to change or to buy some needles uh, eventually? Well, I have mine since over 10 years and it doesn't, uh, and didn't change anything. They're still cutting good. I have no problem with them. So, oops. Hey, am I okay? Flat park at the back. Okay. You want to go fast, but... Okay. Okay. Unlock and start. So why would you need... I have to do that cut work. You Can you go and cut with scissors? Of course you can do it. But if your scissors are not really, the tip is not cutting well, if you're afraid to cut 
the thread. If you're afraid to make a mistake, this technique, these cutting needles are perfect. You sure you won't make any mistake. Okay? It is for the so you have to underneath you remember I have the tear away, but the tear away I use this one, it was an iron on to make sure it stays into place. Okay, almost finished. Now it stopped. It tells me again, put the green one. So I'll remove the red one, put the last one, make sure that I am attaching this very tight, not to end up with a problem. And let, let's go for the last cutting place. Now then, after this, you will see what I mean with the uh, clean cut. You see, this is very clean. This is cotton. Here, it's polyester. It's a damas. It's not uh, the best quality in the world, but it's staying. Uh, it was cut work needle from other make. Oh, that I wouldn't do it. Me, I would not do it. So I don't know them. Uh, I'm talking to Shirley and everybody. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't try it, so I cannot uh, tell you. I know that. I don't know. I don't know. So uh, sorry. Yeah. And the first thing I did, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. I like to print my template to put my positioning perfectly. Okay. Now, my screen tells me, my machine says, remove cut fabric. Okay. Okay. So my fabric is all cut. So I have my tweezers here and there you go. Here's my, my cut fabric. Okay. But the, this fabric is not the highest quality and it has a little bit of hair. So with your scissors, I just uh, if it was cotton, there would be no no hair, okay? No thread, no fuzzy thing, no nothing. But this is polyester, damask, and the the weaving of the uh, the fabric is uh, is uh, different than cotton. So uh, so I just want to make sure. I wanted I I did I use this fabric in purpose because. Let's say you do it at home and you end up with hair, with, with fuzzy stuff like this. Okay? You say, oh, how come? Is my needle dull? No, just, uh, I just want to show you something different, not to be afraid. So now I'm finished with my cutting needles. I'm going to use my regular needle. Now I'm, I'm sewing, I'm embroidering. Okay, so this is finished. I will tell my machine. Oh, this is too big. Okay, change. I just did it. Okay, while my machine was locked. And now it tells me it'll do the embroidery. But, but, hey, there's a hole there. There's nothing here. It's my, uh, my machine. And me, I want to have holes here. I cannot do this without support, huh? So, I'm going to use water-soluble fabric, uh, not fabric, water-soluble uh, stabilizer, okay? And I, I always keep a little thing to reuse. So you see here, it's just perfect to reuse. And I'm going to thread my machine with the next color, which is a green. Okay, this, this, and then I'll show you something that we don't use too often. Okay, unlock, and I like to put my thread inside the foot and holding on my hand. Now, I have to base this, and I don't want to base, I just want to base it just around my design like this. I don't want to base the whole um, the whole hoop, 
Okay, I want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So what am I? What What should I do? Okay, I'm here. So I'm coming here. And you know, this is to show you the area without stitching. This is stitching the uh, stabilizer or many thicknesses together. Baste them together. Baste them twice. Oh, what is this one? So it's going to get, please keep your hands here, yeah, of course. So my, my carriage move and uh, the machine detect the furthest embroidery stitch to my upper left corner and lower right corner. And then I'm okay to, okay, I'm okay to, Based everything together. So start. I'm doing one stitch. I need my thread underneath. And because this fabric is green, I, whoops, I put green and, and underneath. And I like to hold them both by thread because when I hold them, um, the stitch is forming. So it is basting just just what I need around the design. Ooh, I hope I have enough fabric. Yeah, I have enough stabilizer. It's going to cut my thread, the under thread and the top thread. Okay, so this is finished. And now I just have to do my embroidery. I don't want to leave my a long tail here. And because I hold them both, um, I am, I, 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 my stitch is forming. Now my machine is going a thousand stitch a minute and it's doing my embroidery. So the center will be embroidered on the water soluble uh, uh, stabilizer, okay? And um, water soluble. And I don't like the plastic one because um, it's cutting the stabilizer. This here, it's like, like a piece of fabric, like, okay? Okay, so I let it go. Uh, it's gonna do a green, uh, I don't change the color, you know, let it green and pink and uh, so if I take my step here, you remember? Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so the back is cut, uh, tear away, iron on, and then on top is my water soluble, and I baste it together. And when I'm finished, I undo my, I undo my uh, basting stitch. I'll do it while up. Okay. Okay, and I'm pulling the, f you know, because it's not lined, I like to put, I put green underneath as a, as a, a thread, the bobbin thread. I know you're waiting for the embroidery is doing, but uh, I, I want you to see the whole thing. Huh? Okay, so while it's doing embroidery, I won't do it because it's moving too much. But I like to clean as close as possible. And then I'll clean the back and then I'll rinse it. It'll melt away. Okay, one more color, one more uh, uh, petal. Well, we did many flowers this month, huh? I like when there's a team. Next month is, um, next Tuesday, it'll be, uh, the team is done before dinner. So, okay, so the green is finished. I'm going to do the pink 
and now you'll see something uh, something uh, scary okay it's very well digitized huh well it's an old design it's not the first time i use this design so okay here and unlock and go and while it, the, the embroidery is going i'm cutting i hope you see well yeah i'm cutting the excess of stabilizer okay. i remove as much as i can all the way around but if you leave it there it'll melt away you know it'll dissolve in the uh, in the water okay and before I rinse all this, hold on, I'm gonna clean this a bit. Okay, before I remove my tear away, I remove it. Okay, because uh, the first one, what I did is I didn't remove it, and it was. Uh, all uh, uh, not not easy to remove you know so you remove your tear away which is easy with my finger I protect the um, the, the the stitches okay. there you go so as clean as possible and then under the water and you end up with this cut work here design okay so let's wait until it's five minutes but i want you to see what happens after the pink and after the pink i can let go because um, and am i on time hmm, two minutes late okay I love custom base. Thank you for showing one of my favorite things. Okay, you have to clean. Ah, yes, that's my next step. Aha, you'll see. Okay, so I'll let go. So in the meantime, you know where to get your design. They're free, you have 21. Previously, we had 10, but Geno may add some, uh, some uh, design. But if you have the software, you can add cut work wherever part you want on, on any design you like eh? when it suits uh, when it's possible so um and you know that the um the 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 special prize for the artistic in canada anyway for artistic digitizer the special prize finish tomorrow midnight the last day of may so maybe you want to take uh, the opportunity to have a, to have a deal huh? okay. uh, almost pink is almost finished just a few more minutes I want I want you to understand what's going on here and if I wanted you know I could remove some of this without touching the fabric and usually you know Usually, I do this without uh, st stopping. Uh, I do this stopping the machine, and uh, at least you have nothing, you know, in the way. Uh, last week, you showed the T-shirt scallop color with three flowers. Yes, I just love it. But I have the S9. Please tell me how I can. Well, do you have the software? Uh, can I? Can I somehow split? Yeah, of course you can. You know, if you have the artistic digitizer, you can split the design and you do it in two parts. But you have to print your template really for good positioning so that there's no problem. Okay, with this, with the software, there's never a problem. So you have to print the color template. Okay, that the piece of paper here, you have to print it. So you'll have two parts. Okay, and you can watch Anne, uh, Anne's video. She showed many times how to split the design. 
So um, th there's, there's no problem. And the design is from the software. I like to take things from our tools that we have built in designs from our machine or our software. I like to, to do this because you don't have to buy and that's a perfect practice. Okay, so yes, you can. See, this is woven fabric. It's not a knit, but I could do it on a knit, cut work on knit, it is possible. Well, you saw I did it. Okay, pink is finished. Okay, so I'll do a close up. Hold on, I'm changing the thread. Okay, uh, two more minutes. Okay, thread, unlock. Okay, so what I want to show you is, see, there's nothing in the middle. Huh? There's nothing in the middle. So how, how they will connect together, if I rinse this, I'm in trouble, huh? So, they digitize it good. The yellow will hold them all together. Ah, oh, what's going on? Okay. Okay, just, just fussy. Okay, so you see the yellow part. Oh, hold on. The yellow part is holding all these um, satin stitches together. Well, here it's my trial. Before I even do a cut work, I do my, the design as is to understand how it works. Then, then I can play. Then I understand and I can do my uh, cut work, okay? So the yellow center holds everything together. And you see the finished product, finished product, okay? And clean at the back. See here, I had my white thread. I wasn't happy, you know. I I, thread, I prefer green thread. You see the green here on this part. I prefer. I do prefer. And it's finished. Okay. Then remove, and then. I just have to remove the um, the basting stitches, ex the excess of the stabilizer, and then you rinse it out and you have your... Uh... So now, it is not finished. Give me five more minutes. Oh, ho! What is my machine telling me? She knew that... Um, who's asking me? Uh, somebody asked me. Do you have to clean the bubble? Valérie asked me. Do you have to clean the bobbin after? Hey, of course. You forget it, the machine won't forget. So the machine says, hey, remove the needle, remove everything, and clean. And it's not a big, uh, you know, you, you have to use, uh, you know, Janome comes with all the tools you need, all the tools you need. So you have the little brush and you remove, you know, don't push, uh, take it out, the, um, the, uh, the little, uh, the little, um, the lint. I'm going to say okay because I want to tell you, completed, sew the pattern again. No, I don't want to sew it again. Oh, gee, I, I should have said yes. Hold on. I'm going to resend it to, ah, oh, yeah, when I go too fast. Okay, I send it again. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, it's not connecting. Ah, oh, no, it is. Okay. Okay. So now mm, it is, it is um, uh, just the embroidery. I'm coming on my computer. Okay. So the pink part, part I want it with my cutting needles. Okay. Now I'm going to send this to my machine. Envoyer. Hold on. Ah, now I see my cutting needles. Okay. 
Let's say you see, you look at this and you say, oh, I would, I'd like it bigger. Oh, so right away on my machine, I have the edit. Ah, uh ah, -uh, cut work design cannot be edited. So you have to do it on your software before you send it to, um, you send it to your machine. So let me show you. Uh, no, okay. Uh, cancel. So then you select everything and you know what, uh, in a corner you stretch it. Not too much because if it's too much a big hole, uh, you know, I wouldn't do it. I would not do um, um, center. I will not do from this hoop until, the, let's say, the SQ28 hoop. This is way, hey, the, the holes here will be so, so bad. Huh? So it'll be, uh, it, it'll be too wide. So you cannot edit in the machine. You have to go through your software. Okay. So I heard that's beautiful and delicate. Oh, good. And uh, so now I'm turning the camera. Now I am, I am curious. What do you think? I'll hang up with you and I'm going right away to my 550E and I'll find out about this design and uh, see if I can do, use the cutwork, um, cutwork needles on this machine. Well, maybe I, I have, I don't know what to say. I'll check it out and I'll let you know. So, so far, goodbye everybody and have a good week.